Welcome to another video, we are about to hit 95 fire making without a tome yet, one more and there we go, four more levels until 99 and hopefully before that I will have the tome of fire but uh, you never know with this RNG. I've never had more motivation to get the Tomo Fire done, I am going to stay here for even longer than what I anticipated because I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now, I cannot believe this, Nick actually got an imbued heart that I will be able to use on Solra and it is not going to really increase my damage, like my max hit, but it is going to definitely give me better accuracy, so if I have the Tomo Fire with the Arum Staff, and the imbued heart I should be able to shred with magic. Another fire making level coming in here and I do have a decent amount of crates in the bank we're going to open and try to get that tome 96 fire making so so far in this video I have done crates pretty much for two and a half levels because I started on 94 and a half so uh, let's see if we can get some tome. This is how many crates I've collected, you can see I have a decent amount in this tab and of course I do have the uh, duplicate pyromancer items here as well that I will turn in for pages. I currently have almost 700 pages and I think also Max Nick has like 500 so if I do eventually get the tome I will have charges forever basically. Well, uh, it is not looking great, we have these crates left, and uh, am I going to actually get 99 fire making before I get the tome? And yeah, two and a half levels, still no tome. What I'm going to do as a break from Winter Todd is I'm actually going to try to kill Solra with my OG setup, the Iban Staff, and I didn't really have any food for it that was good, so I'm going to get pineapple pizzas, I got all the materials here to make a decent amount. Also I might use some uh, potatoes with cheese as well, but I'm putting this in here so Dovidas can make all of them because you need 65 cooking, I do not have that. Now meanwhile I'm waiting for him to make those pizzas, I actually just noticed that my teak trees are finished, these are the first ones. I've planted and none of them died and I'm now 37 farming these give a ridiculous amount of farming experience they take like three days to grow though so look at this 37 to 39 almost actually oh I got my first Hispori seed as well I can't really use that until uh, very high farming or like 65 60 something with boost but uh, yeah I got that seed and uh, 41 farming from 37 so far and the last one is going to get me to 43 so that is like six farming levels from only these trees and I actually have like 20 teak tree seeds as well from Winter Todd and like probably 25 mahogany seeds which is even more experience in the future. I think that should be the kill actually right there. Hopefully it doesn't live with one HP. Yeah, there we go. So managed to do an Ibon's blast kill and we get uh, actually dragon bones. That is not a bad drop. Five and a half minutes though. That is very slow. So there's actually two upgrades I can make to make Solra even more consistent before I do get the Tome of Fire, which is the Rune Pouch at 75 points, uh, which is going to save me one inventory space. The Death Runes and Fire Runes go into one spot, and overall the Rune Pouch is just very good overall. Also, I am using Diamond Bolts, which is technically Adamant Bolts. I could get these Dragonstone Bolts E, and they are actually quite a bit better for Solra. So I, there's two things I can get from LMS here. Meanwhile, actually, one of my teammates are doing a lot of wind Winter Todd right now to try to help me get the tome. Another absolutely massive benefit to having the imbued heart which I now have in my inventory it boosts magic by a lot more than anything else really we can get our hands on and that is an 8 plus magic boost all the way to 83 and that actually means oh rune crafting level that I with the level of the boost can make barrels tablets and uh, before I was doing it very inefficiently, but it's actually not really for me. It's mostly for Dark World Order, who now has the Mauritania Legs 3 as well. And he can do a bunch of barrels, maybe get me some Arams pieces for Solra. Overall, very good for the team. Let's see how long this actually takes to make one of the tablets. Let's create... 90 magic experience per one as well. It's it's not that slow. It's not that bad I will have to log out now and then though to uh, reset the magic buff because Otherwise, I have to wait like seven minutes So you can see here seven minutes to reactivate the imbued heart as well So that will be kind of unfortunate actually two major things in this clip look at this Dovidas just hit 75 crafting that means I will not be forced to use an amulet of power on Sol anymore I will have a glory and also 
We are now done with the tabs. I made 149, so just shy of one, but the boost ran out. I still have some dense blocks as well, but this should be enough for the group to do a good amount of barrows. Got Darox this time. Let's try to get him a bit lower with some ranged hits. Let's freeze him. Should I go for the... I'm so high HP, I can't go for Darox yet. Maybe I should wait to like 50 HP. I could maybe do it now. Should I try to do it now? Let's go for it. Dude, I swear, let's go for it. Wait. Oh, 60 actually got it. <laughs> Dude, I love Darox. Can we get a Darox KO here? Let's try to freeze him. Okay, let's go for it. Come on, hit hard. Oh, 77. No, he lives. There is no way, dude. That could have been it. Oh, come on, D-Class. Let's carry me, please. They are so overpowered. Oh my god, they're so good. Even on Darox. Or maybe uh, he actually swapped to Mystic there. Yeah, dude. Every time you get D-Class, it's like free vi wins, dude. Free kills. They just spec randomly and you get the kills. Finally, there we go. 75 points. I am not the biggest fan of LMS, but it is a good way to get the rim pouch. So there it is. Very good unlock for Solra and all overall the future PVMing. Let's get some Dragonstone bolts now as well. And back to Solra to try out a kill with the rune pouch and I have to say it is very nice. I mean I have three pineapple pizzas left now. Having the uh, additional inventory space is definitely helping out a lot. And when I do get the Tomo fire I feel like I definitely can grind this out. Let's see what the loot is going to be. And it is some Chaos runes, coal and Solra scales. But it is back to Winter Todd to uh, try again to get the Tome. So only 5 more Winter Tods to 500 mark, which is pretty nice, but something pretty big actually happened. We got a Carol's Coif, Dark World Order actually got one, and that means we now have the full entire Carol set. I do want to try that for Solra actually, so I am going to do some more Winter Todd. After that, I'm going to borrow the entire set and see if it's actually better than the Rune Crossbow with Dragonstone Bolts E. I'm not sure if that's going to actually be the case, but it's going to be fun to try. Look at this beautiful set. Let's uh, take it all out and equip it and see how it actually looks on me. Yep, that is going to be very nice and fun to try at Solra. I did have an Amulet of the Damned before, we actually had a Glory because it has the same stats as that, but it does actually disappear when you die, but I didn't really bring teleports, emergency teleports to Solra when I had it because I didn't know about that mechanic, but now that we do have full carols, it is actually such a strong amulet I have with a set for ranged DPS, so I'm going to try to get another one, maybe even two because they're not very hard to get, in case I would die I still have another one. We got four keys, I think it is one in 13 or something like that, so let's see if we can get lucky, and we do, alright, there is the first amulet of the damned, uh, I'll get one more, can we get one from this key? No we cannot, but yeah, I'll get one more in case I die. And the first key back, another amulet of the damned, so overall I did five keys, and I got two amulets of the damned, that is insane luck. So now that I have a pretty good ranged setup for Solra that I'm pretty happy with, I will have to try it out, but I think it's going to do well, especially with the Amulet of the Damned. I actually want to just kind of boost my magic up casually, because I'm pretty close to 76, but just having a higher magic is going to help at Solra. And for that, I want to complete the Desert Treasure quest, which requires 53 thieving, and also the Temple of Ikov quest, which I can just complete whenever I want to. But the biggest block is the... Uh, thieving levels. I have to get all the way to 59, then I am actually going to get donated a decent amount of runes so I can actually burst magic to just quickly get my magic level up. And here we go, the first milestone, 42 thieving done on fruit stalls, and now I can actually go on a detour and do Temple of Ikov, and after that 53 thieving to do Desert Treasure. And that should be the Temple of Ikov completed, actually some decent experience from this 8k fletching and almost 11,000 range experience. Did I get any levels? Yeah, 65 fletching and no range level. Found this pretty interesting, when you have the HD client of course on Runelite you can see further than you can with the normal one and you can see the DK caves are actually back here. For some reason they placed the Dagonoth King's cave with the Pyramid Plunder in the same instance. Interesting. And in the level 40 room we have Keldagrim, uh, very nice and random as well. And I think I also saw actually uh, some Mauritania stuff in another area. And there we go, that is 53 thieving, just finished it off on some Alcarid warriors, but of course did mostly at Pyramid Plunder, but that is now all the requirements to do Desert Treasure. 
And this is the completion of the Desert Treasure quest, which actually also gives me some magic experience. 20,007 for some reason, not sure about that 7. But now I can use the Ancient Spellbook, which uh, also 76 magic. We're going to try to do some ice bursting with. So this is the location I'm going to be bursting at. It is not the ideal location because I haven't done Monkey Madness 2 to unlock those monkeys that are like stacked up billions of them. But uh, these are not that bad either because I think this is the second best option with the amount of spiders there are. And uh, I only have like four play potions to protect from melee but that should be fine to sustain me because they do double Raynars now and then. I have the imbued heart and I have a good amount of herbs. Let's actually take a look at this. I have 6k chaos runes, 2 5k death runes and 10,000 water runes which is uh, probably like okay let's not get attacked it's uh, around 1,500 casts so should be decent so I've been doing this for like 45 minutes now and that means my experience an hour should be around 100,000 which is surprisingly low actually because when I was doing the Arceus library and Alking at the same time which granted is a lot more click intensive but if you do that then you get like 110k and it barely costs any runes. It's only nature runes for the Alking and that's it. And I'm getting lucky with the Raynars as well. But um, I am, yeah, that's kind of disappointing. But uh, I'm actually going to stop here, I think. I'll do uh, just these kills here. And uh, then I want to save the runes because I have an idea. With the Imbued Heart, I can boost far above level 80. And I can actually do Blood Blitz at Solra. It has the same max hit as Ibon's Blast. And it also heals you when you do damage. So that might actually be a good spell to use for Solra. It is a bit more expensive, but... Uh, yeah, it's going to probably make my kills a bit more sustainable, as well as with the Carol setup, I should be doing pretty fine. So this is now my upgraded, hopefully at least upgraded, Solra setup, and I'm actually going to use only the Carol's Coif even for magic, because it actually doesn't really have much of a magic negative, it's only minus one, and it is another inventory spot I can take. So this range setup is hopefully going to carry me, and then I have this magic setup with the Imbued Heart, I can boost to 84 magic, and Blood Blitz requires 80, so for like 4 minutes I have the boost, which should be enough hopefully. So this is now post commentary after trying this setup for two kills and I have to say that after all this grinding of doing Desert Treasure, all the quests and you being able to use Ancients, also getting the Amulet of the Damned, us also being able to use full Carols and uh, I have to say I'm disappointed. Uh, I actually thought that the Amulet of the Damned with Carols would shred the boss because I was reading a lot on Reddit that uh, it is a very good setup before you get the blowpipe but it turns out I didn't really feel like it was doing that great work for the risk of also risking the Amulet of the Damned without combo food that I don't actually really have right now so it is a very risky I can just get comboed out really hard and lose my Amulet of the Damned so I'm probably just not going to do that again I am going to go with a normal glory and the rune crossbow with dragonstone bolts so all of that was unfortunately a bust now the magic setup is better i would say i would say that the blood blitz do help with my healing as well as it does pretty much the same damage as the ibon's blast but it is very expensive and runes are hard to get by on an iron man even in a five man group so i am going to say that even after all of this it is uh, probably best to not reinvent the wheel, go with the Ibon's Blast and uh, just do it like I've always done it. Unfortunately that is the case, but all of this was a bit of an experiment to see if I could get by by some other setup than just getting the Tomo Fire, but it seems like doing that is still the way to go. And there is the uh, Ibon's Blast kill for some Dragon Bones. How long was that kill? 345. That has, yeah, that is a new record. Very nice. But again, I am now after some solo testing back to Winter Todd, and I actually just hit 97 fire making, and I don't really care about getting 99. I've never really cared about it. I just want a tome. So what I'm going to do actually is just, as you can see here, I'm in a separate world with only one person, and we're doing max points Winter Todd pretty much, where I'm at 4,500 points almost, and we are probably going to go all the way to 13,000, which is the max amount of points you can get, and this way you don't really have 
to wait the one and a half minute between each game. You can just stack up as much points as you can. 13.5k is the cap and in that you will get 27 rolls on the uh, table. And that means every single of the crates that I open have a 1 in 37 chance of giving me the Tome of Fire, which is the only thing I'm here for. So we're going to end the video with opening one of these 13.5k points crates and see what we can get and you will see how this actually looks. I am going to continue doing this most likely, maybe not all of them will be 13k points but uh, a lot more than at least 750 that I was normally doing and hopefully I can get the Tomo fire before 99 fire making. Let's open this and see what we get. Okay, well, yeah, open the crate anyways, and we do not get a tome or fire, but this is what it looks like. I probably got some duplicates as well, like maybe uh, some herbs or something like that that I got twice, but uh, yeah, no tome or fire yet, but I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Have a good one, guys. Take care.